Gun Freak Nation. This is the president, T. Lettry. Are you savage ready? First and foremost, I want to give a special shout out and a thank you to my brother, Johnny Cash, for sending me out this awesome merch. You know, he got me dripped up. You know what I'm saying? Sent me out the shirt, the hat, patches, stickers. Shout out to you, Johnny Cash. Told you I was going to wear it. Um, I want to know, are you savage ready? Okay? Are you savage ready, Gun Freak Nation? Listen, the world is, we living in a crazy world right now that's, that's being overrun with these savages who are acting as tools of the left, all right? I'm not trying to get political or anything like that, but I'm just calling it for how I see it. You know what I'm saying? I'm calling it for what it is. You need to be ready at all times to be able to protect your life, to defend your life, defend your property, defend your loved ones. Because if you do not, you will be a statistic. You will be a victim. You know, it's a lot. Your life is worth so much. All right? Man, I need to get me some off of something. These, these uh, mosquitoes back here is worse than the savages. They, they eat me up alive. But that's exactly what them funky ass savages want to do. Eat you up alive. So you have to be prepared. This right here is my latest funky town uh, uh, sender uh, uh, tool. This is the ZPAP 92. Um, I recently has updated it. You know, I got the, uh, the Magpul uh, uh, rubberized grip on it. I got the UTG uh, Pro handguard on it where I can mount the flashlight. Um, it's got the little, you know, rails that cover up the Picatinny on it. You know, I got my red dot, my solid red dot on there, and I got my Strike Industries angle grip on there. It's not a vertical grip, it's an angle grip, y'all. So, yeah, you have to be, you need something. Um, well, in my particular case, what I may need, you may not need, depending on your living situations. But for this, I have no problem getting a stinking ass savage up off of me, especially if they breaking up in your house and they got, you know, an AK or AR-15. You never want to be in a situation where you are, you know, outgunned. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah. So, y'all got to stay savage ready at all times all right this is no joke this is your life you have to take it serious man i just heard about a um a couple of home invasions the other the other day this happens damn near every day here in detroit at least and and think about it it ain't just detroit even though we wanted the most like i don't think we no longer the murder capital of the of, of the united states but we, we we still in the top four or top five or whatever but anywhere it go it don't matter nowadays things have gotten so bad that it's just it's happening everywhere and you have to be prepared so what i will say is that if you are a um if you are a firearm owner give yourself a pat on the back because this ain't to be meant to be played with. This is no games. We not playing no games. This is happening every day. I mean, I'm in the comfort of my own backyard and, and, and I run the chance of, 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 of some savages trying to jump over my gate, jump over my fence and, and, and come and get me. But it ain't gonna happen because I'm savage ready. You feel me? I'm savage ready and you need to be savage ready too. You know what I'm saying? This is not no joke. And we got an election that's uh, uh, looming ahead of us that's coming up. It's about to be crazy. You understand? It's about to be crazy. Hell, I wouldn't put it past them to, to do some type of um, false flag operation. Like if they lose, 
I, 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 I'm, I'm telling y'all the truth. What I really believe, they would, they would be willing to do some type of false flag uh, uh, operation to, 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 to set in place some type of martial law to keep people from voting. You know, um, they want to accuse, um, you know, Trump of being anti-democracy, but look at the, it's, it's hypocrisy. What they're, what they're preaching is, is hypocrisy. Now they're trying to change the rulings of the Supreme Court because they didn't go their way. So now they're trying to, you know, uh, Biden trying to, you know, fuck with the Supreme Court now. Um, where else have they just took somebody because he was too old or one or whatever, and they knew they was going to get beat, so now they just replaced that person with, with, with Kamala or whatever the fuck her name is. Uh, how I feel about it, they just threw her in there because they knew it's like they're cheating. But I don't think she she has a snowball uh, chance in hell to 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 to, to win. You understand? Uh, I'm not voting for her. Uh, I'm not voting for nobody, and I'm not telling y'all what to vote or none of that. I'm just giving you my personal thoughts, my personal opinion. I'm not voting for nobody that's that's winding off of their campaign. It's like we going we gonna ban, you know, we gonna we don't we gonna put in place a new um, assault weapons ban, which means that they don't want they trying to take you know, uh, uh, guns like this away, but they're not trying to take it away from the criminals. If, if the criminals got them, then guess what? I got to have it. I'm not going to be under, you know, in a situation where I'm out gone because they got superior firepower. You know what I'm saying? It, it's just not going to happen. You know, and I know I'm going to get the people that be like, well, it ain't about the, the caliber. It's about the shot placement, which is true. But at the same time, you winding up, you know, you got savages, multiple savages winding up in your house. And all you got is a Glock that got, you know, 15 rounds in it. And you got, you got the multiple savages that got, you know, uh, uh, 30 rounders, 40 rounders, drums. You know, Glocks with the extendos, Glocks with the switches. You outgunned. You are outgunned and you don't want to be in that situation. You ain't no John Wick. You know, this is this ain't the movies. This ain't Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? But um, I just want y'all to just take what I'm saying serious because every day we got people getting invaded and um, the house getting invaded and, and, and they just victims, man. And, and for whatever reason, they refuse to get armed, you know what I'm saying? And, they, and, 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 and by the time they do decide to do it, it's too late. So please, please get armed. You know what I'm saying? Get armed. That's the only way you're gonna have a fighting chance. Anyway, God Free Nation, these mosquitoes tear me up. Time for me to get the hell up out of here. Listen, y'all stay armed. Stay responsible with your firearms, stay righteous, and be ready to send that funky, stinking ass savage <clears throat> to Funky Town. These damn mosquitoes need to go to Funky Town. You hear me? Love you, Godfrey Nation. Salute, baby.